Now, the crackdown on activists in Hong Kong is intensifying. A teenager has been charged with secession for trying to seek shelter inside the American consulate. He is just one of at least 27 people who've been arrested under the oppressive national security law. Hong Kong's future now hangs in balance. The region is losing its autonomy. Voices in support of democracy are being strangled. Activists facing the threat of detention want out. They want asylum in democratic countries. On yesterday's show, we told you why India should step up, open its doors to the pro-democracy activists from Hong Kong. Just like we did with the Dalai Lama and the Tibetans, they were given immediate asylum in 1959. Tonight, we'll show you why India must act now to support the campaigners in Hong Kong. A teenager was brought before the court in Hong Kong today. His crime? Campaigning for democracy. Tony Chung was detained on Tuesday. He was trying to seek shelter inside the US consulate. He is now the second person in Hong Kong to be prosecuted under the national security law. He has been branded an enemy of the state. The charges against him include succession, money laundering, and conspiracy to publish seditious material. The last charge falls under colonial era criminal laws. Tony Chung saw the arrest coming. Reports say he had submitted his paperwork for the U.S. refugee program weeks ago. But when his detention became imminent, Chung tried to take refuge inside the American consulate. Now he's in Chinese custody and has been denied bail. This is the new normal in Hong Kong. The Communist Party is ruling with an iron fist. A few months ago, Hong Kong was protesting against China. Now protest is illegal. The national security law spells the end of Hong Kong. The Communist Party reigns supreme. It is installing a surveillance system in the city. Reports say a national security hotline is being set up. This will be a tool for specialist officers to impose the national security law. They will gather intelligence from the public, essentially turning citizens into spies, deployed to report on pro-democracy activists. China is clamping down on campaigners, those who are at the forefront of pro-democracy protests. Beijing wants to end their freedom of speech and their freedom to leave. Shut all doors for them. Turn them into examples of what taking on China can cost you. In May, London offered help. It opened a route to British citizenship for nearly three million people who hold the British national passport. Now China refuses to recognize the British passport. The British side violated its promises, insisted on going its own way, and repeatedly played up the issue of BNO passports. It interferes in Hong Kong affairs and China's internal affairs, which would only lead to it hurting itself. As the British side violated its commitment first, China will consider not recognizing the BNO passport as a valid travel document and reserves the right to take further measures. China's designs are clear. Crush democracy. Control Hong Kong. What is the world doing? Major democracies around the world are offering asylum to Hong Kong activists. Countries like the United States, Canada and Germany lead this effort. India is not on the list. It should be. India should join its democratic allies. India should welcome Hong Kong activists. Stand up for democracy and against China's authoritarianism. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. We on. World is one.